It is time to switch gears now, get a check of our forecast. And Mariel, you know, all morning on daybreak, I kept he hearing you guys say ozone watch day. What is yes, that all about? Yes, ozone alert day. Okay. And it's basically an air quality alert. Mm -hmm. It just means that our air quality is not going to be up to standards. So if you have respiratory issues, uh, definitely make sure to limit your time outside. Higher levels of ozone mm -hmm. will be in our atmosphere at ground level. So let me talk a little bit more about that. Here's the map. These are the counties that are included on uh, that watch. So what it means is that we have the right weather conditions, sunshine, warm weather, light winds, high pollution. Uh, and that takes basically O2, which is oxygen, and converts it to O3, which is ozone. Ozone in the upper levels of our atmosphere is good. It protects us from the sun's harmful rays, but at ground level, it's toxic. And in high quality uh, quantities, we could definitely see some of those impacts or feel some of those impacts. Otherwise, it's actually a pretty nice day. Here's our other alert that I want to warn you about. The ozone action day is today, but our severe weather outlook is for Friday. On Friday, we have a slight risk for severe weather. That's a level two out of five for the likelihood of strong to severe storms. Scattered storms are expected. The main concern will be large hail and strong winds with the strongest of storms. Not everyone sees this. It's important to note that right now I have about 50% coverage of rain for Friday afternoon and into the evening. It bumps up just a little more. Let me show you why this is a Friday at two in the afternoon still pretty dry as this front approaches. It starts to kick up some of these showers and storms around this time. It'll be about 50% coverage for the Metroplex. So there's Friday at four. You see these showers, thunderstorms developing at around six. I'm expecting that front to make it right at DFW. Notice how the coverage gets a little bit more widespread, especially south of DFW. This is around six. Look at what happens at eight. We start to see a lot of this kind of dwindle down and then around nine. 10, it starts to really fizzle out as this front moves south. And then we're looking at a beautiful dry weekend. I'm going to take you back to today. This is what Cedar Hill looks like. Temperature right now of 75 degrees. We're looking at a beautiful blue sky overhead. 74 degrees at DFW Airport. The dew point, that's the number that we've been talking about every day the last couple of weeks. That's a measure of moisture. Right now it's at 58. The last few days it's been in the 60s. So what that means is that it's actually drier outside and that's what makes it feel more comfortable outside for us. So right now we're at 74. We have a clear sky overhead with the exception of some cloud cover along our northeastern counties. That's really about it. Our day planner shows temperature climbing still to about 77 degrees at one. 81 degrees at three, 84 degrees around five winds light and northeasterly. That's what's helping bring in some of the dry air into North Texas. 84 for the high for Dallas and Fort Worth, a little warmer for our western counties in the upper 80s and into the upper 70s where there's a little more humidity across areas of our east. And that's where we also see some added cloud cover 84. By the way, it's exactly where we should be for this time of the year. Our dew point, remember a measure of moisture is going to go up for Thursday and Friday all before our next front arrives. It'll drop back over the weekend, which will make it feel more comfortable for us. Let me show you what happens over the next couple of days. We're going to stay mostly clear, but there's a little disturbance to the west that could very well bring us a little shower here or there for Thursday very early on. Most of us stay completely dry. Most of us just see a passing cloud. Let's talk about Thursday afternoon. There's a cluster of storms that builds to the west along a dry line. I think a lot of these storms will dissipate by the time they have a chance to make it to most of North Texas. That's why I'm not putting a big emphasis on the storms that we're uh, expecting Thursday to our west. OK, so today and tomorrow we are staying dry. We'll see the sunshine, a little more cloud cover on Thursday. Temperature does climb upper 80s on Thursday and Friday. Friday's when that front comes in. That's when I need you to be paying attention, especially in the afternoon and evening hours. After that, we are cooling down into the low 80s sunshine, low humidity over the weekend. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Uh, just until then, we're going to see really our temperatures ramp up, our humidity ramp up just a tad more. And then, of course, those storms on Friday to Shara. Okay, Mariel, thank you.